So I just opened up all three boxes of the NIOS Opus Pro cabinet and I laid them all on the ground here making sure that all the pieces are here. The boxes were very heavy and the material is made of this very compressed wood and it makes it really dense and by doing so the cabinet pieces are extremely heavy. So check out the bottom of the NIOS stand. It comes with a total of 16 of these thumb screws and these are to level the stand if your surface is uneven. This is such a nice feature on the stand. I mean, I've built stands before where I had to buy shims and then level it, but these thumb screws make it so much easier. I'm gonna start here by building the bottom portion of the cabinet first and working my way to the top. The first part of this build is to put on the back panel of the cabinet and then installing the divider between the sump side and the dry side. As you can see the bag of hardware, the cabinet is put together by a lot of wooden dowels and metal cam lock nuts. Here I am installing all the hardware on both of the side panels of the cabinet. As you can see, Nios definitely didn't skimp on the amount of wooden dowels and lock nuts on the side panel. Here I have the top and the side panel of the cabinet installed. I'll have to install the right side panel and then after this work on the doors. Here I am installing the right side panel. I had to sit on the top of it with my full body weight so that the stand could snap together. You can definitely install this cabinet by yourself but if you had a helper it would probably go a lot faster. Here I am installing these hinges on the three doors that the Niles cabinet comes with. All right guys, I'm making progress here. I am now done with the Nias Opus Pro cabinet stand. And my first initial thoughts on this stand is it's incredibly built. It's probably the best pre-made aquarium stand that I've built ever. And the reason being is that it's just extremely sturdy. The boxes that it came with, it came in three boxes. Each box was at least 70 pounds. And even when I was installing these doors, it was really hard to hold it upright so I can snap it into the hinges. Each door is probably 25 pounds each easily. And look how thick it is. Uh, it is made out of compressed wood, but it is very high quality compressed wood and it makes it very dense. And the entire cabinet probably weighs about 250 to 280 pounds. Uh, it's really hard for me to move it by myself, but the uh, features that it comes with inside the cabinet, you'll have the sump side on the left here with the pre-installed foam mat. And then there's a divider right here on the dry side. And on this side, you can install all of your dry equipment and your controllers, uh, any of the stuff that you want to keep dry. Um, it does come with these really beefy hinges and nice feature is that it's soft closed. And then it comes with these buttons that uh, pop the door out when you push it in and then you can close it. On the top, it comes with the foam mat that you can uh, put the tank on to protect it. And then the nice part of the stand is you can see that it's kind of a little bit higher than the top of the stand so that the tank can recess into the cabinet, which I think it's a really cool look and it will make it look absolutely clean once the tank is set on top of it but yeah this is the final product and i'm extremely happy with it so next step here is i'm gonna be cracking open the crate and uh checking out the tank and the sump that's in there so i will check you guys later